Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know, some people are bah humbug about Christmas. Always. And some people are bah humbug about love. Yeah. Yeah. I've so been there. I've been there. I saw a story. I'm kind of that guy. What's up? <laughs> that uh, this happened in China. There was mm-hmm. a screening of Beijing Love Story. Oh, premiered sound- on Valentine's Day. Oh, it's a love story. I mean, I you know, they that. put it out so all all the homeboys will take their homegirls yeah, out there. Yeah, get they, on down, get yep. a little hand holding. Get get her a little little pre moist before you take her to the, back to the well, sack. Jesus Christ! Isn't that what they do it for? <laughs> pre moist. Yeah, you <laughs> cut, I thought he was gonna say you cut a hole in the bottom of the popcorn bucket. You took it a whole nother level really quick. So get a little damp before you go home. So this, so this guy, <laughs> yeah, he was a he was a scorned man. His woman had just cheated on him. Okay, okay. So he went to the theater on Valentine's Day opening night, and he bought the ticket for every other seat in the entire theater, so no one could I sit heard next about to this. Him. <laughs> <laughs> so that nobody could watch it sitting next to your girlfriend. I mean, I don't know how the hell you stop it. It's one guy trying to take up every other seat. So, like, people just walk in and, like, I'm going to sit next to my girlfriend. Where did this happen? China. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. There's a lot of people over there, man. When you got a lot of people. Oh, like, what? how petty do you have to be? That's insane. Oh, yeah. Right. That's insane. He's going to ruin everybody's just to, like, be like, oh, when you go to get the theater, they're like, why is every other seat taken? Because it's a solo night. <laughs> That's an insane amount of petty, this. Not to mention, like... Yeah, you're taking, like, 15 bucks times, like, 100 seats. Like, this, this homeboy spent $1,500 just to ruin everybody's night. Yeah. This one saw another movie. But you wouldn't even ruin their night, because I would just be like, oh, nobody's sitting here after, like, the... When he the walked o- into the theater and we were just like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to sit where I want, because... Like, yeah, exactly. you would think it was a joke. How many single folks are going to sit every other seat in the damn movie? I mean, yeah, I mean, that's true. That's true. So... Anyways, I just wanted to start with that segue. Okay, all right. You I saw a video last night, and it was it was like a uh, like a blind. It was like a dating show, and and it, both people were blindfolded. And the girls, did you see this online? <laughs> this is this is an old one, but yeah, 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 yeah I've yeah. seen this. So the girl's dressed up like an anime character. She's cosplaying, yeah, and she, she and she's, she's a larger woman. She's she's softig. And and he's like, what Look kind? Of, what, he's like, what kind of women or what kind of men do you enjoy? And then she says, this part I thought was the most. She goes, you know, Asian to white, like there's like or white to Asian or something like. Oh, she said I, she was really an Asian man. But but she said there was a. She and then said he Asian asked, to what white. do you think I am? And he, she said white to Asian. And, and I was like, there's a scale. Well, that's the scale. Like you go either you go white to anyways. Yeah, I mean, well, you can tell by a voice and, most of the time. Yeah, like, and then he goes and he's like, do oh. I do, wait, Joe, real quick, do I sound black? It depends on the day. Okay. I, I like that. Oh, I like that answer. That was a good answer. That's a good what answer. What other like answer that. is there? That's like, a fair answer. Yeah. Okay. Um, Keep it going. So and then so then this guy's just like, hey, can we get a hug? No, oh, he did ask her for the hug. And then when he comes back, he immediately slaps the I don't want you button. Uh, edited, but yeah. <laughs> and uh and then he goes, and then they're like, Why do you not want? And he goes, you know, he's like you know, I really feel like we get this good vibe. I could be friends. I got a gut feeling that he did say gut feeling. And we <laughs> really, and she's like, that's fair. Uh, Two, okay, a couple questions. First off, setup. that was set up. If, if dude takes off his blindfold and she's dressed like an anime character and she's into Asian men, does he just freak out? Because she's like, he's like, she's fetishizing the ish out of him because he's Asian. <laughs> I mean, that is what is happening. <laughs> yeah. But there's nothing wrong with fetishizing men. Fine. Whatever. You know, you into what you into. Um, I wouldn't freak out. No, I'd, pro- I'd probably act professional and then be like, yeah, this ain't going to work. Or, hey, this Slap the button right after. Like, oh, oh, you dressed up like an anime <laughs> character and you tell me you into Asian dudes? Like, I, I, I see what picture I'm filling. Yeah. So that's the old clip. That's from... uh. I don't know if that was even an American show. But no, you know, I don't think it was. We America couldn't get away with that. We're too, we're too <laughs> politically correct. But but okay, so like, it, that, was, that, I, was I mean, sizzle, that was a sizzle reel of that show, though. I will give yeah, you that, but it but was like, a sizzle reel. So if you're on a blindfolded show and you just ask for a hug, are you cheating? 
I kind of feel like you're cheating because the thing is, love is blind. But I guess but you know, the, blind people can feel. But here's the thing: he you, grabbed the wrist. Like they didn't show the part where he grabs her wrist. Oh, he grabs her wrist and like yeah. feels. The there's another her edit arm of the, is. yeah. There's another edit of that meme where he grabs her wrist. So like, but here's the thing: if you know that you're 100 percent not attracted to big girls, mm-hmm, would mm-hmm. you not try to find out if they're a big girl because you would just know that you aren't into big girls? That's the thing. And is it fair to just say I'm not attracted to big girls? It'd be the same as being like I don't like Spanish women. And they're like, <laughs> I don't like no, no, no. Wait, is it, is that the same as you saying no, like it, I don't like Spanish women? The same no. as like I don't like big girls. Okay, okay. I would have to say only because uh, Spanish is like you can't help that. Like you're born into that. Whereas being a big girl is a lifestyle. You're not wrong. It's a lifestyle choice. Like you choose to do that to yourself. You know? Yeah, I mean, you may and not like, have chose to get that big, but you also choose not to like watch what you're eating. You choose to ignore the the fact is that that is an issue uh, because it is an issue, and yeah. they they know it just as much as anybody else. Um, and it, I mean, and honestly, it's like okay, you choose to ignore that. That's fine because that's your decision. But it's not like you can't just say I was just born. I I, I have pounds. a hot take on that though. You can't just say that. Do you think what that people can be unaware of what they're doing to themselves and like because they have an addiction, they have like an issue. Yeah, I mean the the mental the mental issue is definitely a thing, and that could be like something that you can't control. And that's another. I mean, that goes right in hand. Well, like yeah, if you have that, you're unable to control yourself, voluntary or involuntary. Yeah, okay, and I'll give you that, but I will say is that because they have a mental issue, it, it needs to be addressed to remove it. You aren't going to tell a person who's Mexican. That <laughs> no, no, right. You got to got to change your race. <laughs> oh, yeah. we'll fix you up. We'll have you talk. Talking about, we'll have you listen to Keith Urban. In a, <laughs> Keith Urban. Just give me twenty minutes with you. <laughs> well, right, well, right. No, no, no. But I mean, like, yeah, it's like. Um, so that uh, I'd say that is the main difference. Right, it, it, race doesn't really correlate with too much on this planet. Um, okay, okay. For, let, me, let me take that away. You ain't got a leg. You born without a leg, or you got your leg shot off you, in the war? What happened? Either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. You lost a leg. Most what? people who lost a leg couldn't help they lost a leg okay there are people do stupid stuff and have dumb act most of the time you're born without a leg okay. you have an accident a true accident you lose a leg okay i'm ready right? i'm kind of ready to see where this is going so, because there's one angle that you could take where i'm like you you wrong okay but okay but so going, so like wrong. is one is, angle. is you saying i don't want to date a big girl no! the, the same as saying i don't want to date someone in a wheelchair I because they have Wait a minute, they're in a wheelchair versus they don't have a leg. Well, if you don't have a leg, you're probably in a wheelchair. You just got a prosthetic. Oh, okay, you're not wrong. Okay. And 100%, look, I'm going to tell you right now is that every girl wants to date, wants to date a uh, a tripod. Every <laughs> every Excuse guy me? wants to date a tripod. I would love to date a tripod. Are you kidding me? Is that is that the slur version? I don't know, it? is it? I don't know. Sounds slurry. Does it? Yeah, I don't you're know how they would a tripod. Are you t- are you telling me they would take offense to that? I would think so. What? Walk up to someone with three legs and I'll call him a tripod and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> see what, see what you think they'd be mad about that? I think so. I thought it was a cute little... I don't think so. It's not cute? I don't think so. Okay, well, I I apologize. Yeah, I don't know, but but is that but okay? And we're getting, I mean, like, but yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, is, I'm if you're joke. on a show I'm making jokes. for love, uh, no, I got you. But for love, and you know you aren't into something. Are you are you the asshole for like trying to figure out if they're that thing? I think so because the whole idea is that it's supposed to be about like uh, person. The show's idea is yeah. love is blind. You can love anyone. Yeah, and if you're all like, you like to go running, like you you know you <laughs> say that would be you know fair. things like that. Like, well, either you're big or like you ain't got a leg or like, oh, I have a little trouble running, and then you're like, eh, I love to run. Then you don't look like an a hole. But if you're all like. How many pizzas you eat this week? Then you're a dick. I wouldn't even... Yeah, but there's ways to even veil that. Be like, uh, what's your favorite pizza topping? Just because just you like bacon on a pizza don't mean you're fat. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> does it? There's... 
there's ve- there's vegetarians who eat whole cakes. But I would just say it's like a person. If you ask a person that question, it'd be like, oh. I love this on pizza. Or they'd be like, well, I don't eat it too often. You can gauge right there. There's a two, there's a different ends of the spectrum when it comes to that. Yeah, yeah. like, wow, I can't even remember the last time I had one is on a certain end of the spectrum. It's like, oh my God, I love that. Like, they, they go straight to it. You know where their I BMI is based on that answer. I love meat pizza. What's that? I love half a meat pizza every night. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Like, you know what that person looks like. Right, so there's ways. I feel like there's ways to gauge that information. I feel like that is was, it less of a dick move to ask the questions rather than hug them and realize how big they are. No, honestly, that was the Naruto way. Honestly, that was the, he. Wait. He went above and beyond, like the expectations of the uh, of the professors. If you can remember Naruto taking a test and, and the, when he was becoming a jink, yo, he had to think outside the box. That's thinking outside the box. I don't. Why well, I think it's cheating? Yes, it is. But hey, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I mean, so I respect it. Yeah, I respect yeah. the cheat. I respect it. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like it should just be based on personality. But I think you could. I think you could kind of tell where where she was leaning when he listened to her talk. Anyway, because listen like, to her talk. Yeah, because they like the show is a whole thing, <laughs> so there was a lot that was cut out. They talked a lot about stuff, and then towards the end, he was like, can I get a hug? And then it came down to sitting down and pressing the button. But they actually had, like, a conversation. And it's hard to really act like yourself on a, on a show like that, you know? Well, I mean, but, it's like, like nerves if you're on a reality in. show, you ain't you. No, you ain't you. Because they ain't putting an average Joe on there. unless if You have to have a personality to be on a, a reality show. Yeah. Like, they ain't following me around on a reality show. I ain't doing enough interesting <laughs> shit. I don't wow out, right? Mm. Like... What are they gonna do? Watch me sit at my desk all day, exactly. like sit here in a chair and record a podcast? Hey, look if they're look honestly, if they're gonna pay you, yeah, do but, that. But but they want somebody to watch it. They're like, oh, here, look at this guy. He sits that's, here at his that's, desk. That's when they introduce stuff to make it more interesting, like, like set you- the house on fire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Real world stuff, man. Come on, we were to look honestly date ourselves whatever we grew up in the era where this stuff was like brand new exactly i remember watching the first ever reality show it's ever inception yeah. when it was an idea real world san francisco that I remember was real puck, puck and pedro i remember Dude, them what the first like when reality tv first came out i was like this is going to be the next big thing and then now it's become fake it's <laughs> like True story. Yes. Yeah. About you seven watch, strangers. Did you ever watch that show for real? Yeah, yeah. I watched the first probably three or four seasons and mm-hmm. watched the first two seasons of Road Rules because that was the second one. Road Rules? Yeah. And then even like, yeah, I, wa- I watched a lot of reality TV when it was new. And then yeah. now it's not like you're t- no eight. The Kardashian show is not real. No, it, none that, of it. That none real housewife shit is not none real. None of it's real. When it came out that, uh, what was the show about the uh, the guys who would buy like the storage garage? Oh, Pawn Star. No, not Pawn Stars. Uh, storage Wars. Storage Wars. That show was like the last one. That one broke my heart when I found out how fake that was. Yeah. yeah. Super fake. That, yeah, like, like they would have, they would have. Uh, that broke my heart. They would have uh, loaded units. They're like. Exactly. And here, there's going to be gold coins from a yeah. pirate ship. Which they just bought beforehand and just put in the units. Like, come on. Not every unit is going to have something in it. Right. Most of them are just old, dirty-ish. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's like, let's make a... That that was a reality, let's make a deal. Yeah. That's what that show was. And then they would, like, get but mad at each fake. other. So, I it don't was, know. It was, rea- it was like wrestling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was literally yeah, like yeah. wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere there was no physical violence. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, I don't know. I forgot to set a timer. So, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazynow.com for donuts. TNT. Uh, we out.